Hello guys, Robot1 here coming at you with a new Yu-Gi-Oh! video and in today's Yu-Gi-Oh! video we're going to be looking at the new um, Esperobot and Merrick support cards. Now, it looks like um, we've got in the new Duelist Pack coming out, the Duelist Pack Merrick I believe, um, we are getting some new cards and these cards are new Jinzos. Uh, new Jinzo cards that will play, obviously, Esperobus cards, and also new Merrick cards as well, which I'm kind of interested to see because you, I wouldn't expect these... I, I wasn't really expecting much from these this set because, like, it, it's more of a... It's an original set, but obviously um, it's a set with potential, um, with all set type because Konami can make sets really decent, but I don't know what I'm expecting from the set. Be honest, because um, sure the cards will hold value just because they're a doorless pack set, but I'm curious to see what they've got here. And I haven't read any of these cards; I haven't seen any of them, so it'll be a new uh, experience for me as well. Um, but yeah, uh, I've enough of me yammering. Let's actually look at these cards because I'm kind of curious to see what new Jinzo cards and new Merrick cards can do. So uh, we've got a new Jinzo. So this is a uh, menacing Android Psycho Shock or the TCG. Menacing Jinzo, um, and he's a level 7, so Jinzo's got a slight upgrade, um, 2400 attack, 1500 defense, um, if either player possesses a trap card on the field or in the graveyard, you can spend some of this card from your hand, but its level becomes 6 for the rest of the turn. Okay, so you can now just free special summon Jinzo. As long as your opponent has a trap in, on, like, I would, I'm assuming their possession means... Um, as long as it's face up on the field, because there's no way you would know if there was a trap face down. So obviously this has to mean face up on the field or in the graveyard, which is pretty obvious. Um, and becoming a level six, that just means it's original Jinzo. So not new that. Uh, and his second effect is during either player's main phase, quick effect, you can tribute this card to someone one Jinzo from your hand or graveyard. Then you can look at all the spend trap cards your opponent controls and destroy all traps among them. Oh. Um, so what you're telling me is if I go up against a trap deck I have this board on the board they go to end of main phase with set 5 pass I special summon Jinzo from my hand and then I just destroy all their traps that's pretty good um, it's not very free turn 1 because obviously there has to be a trap on if either player's possession, if either player's possesses a trap card um, on the field, so I would assume um, this isn't as free turn one. Or if you could get a trap on the graveyard turn one very easily, like with like a twin twister or by with like discarding it or something, that would be decent. But I see potential here. I really do. That this this seems this seems to have potential. Like if you control a trap and you can prove it's a trap face up on the field then that seems good. Unless I'm wrong here, and as long as you have a trap on the field, even if it's set, then you can still special summon this card from your hand, which I'm like, I would say it has to be face up, because there's no way your opponent would know if you have a set trap, which is the thing there, and that's kind of why, like why I'm thinking this. It's, um, it has to be a face up trap, but uh, I, want, I want to see how good this gets. This, this, is, this has some great potential. Um, the only issue is you do have to have the Jinzo already in your hand or in the graveyard, which is another thing. But still, that that is very good. Um, so, Psycho Bounder, uh, level 4 light machine effect, 1700 attack. Um, if this card is normal or special summoned, you can add one Jinzo or one spell trap card that specifically lists Jinzo in its text from your deck to your hand. Okay, they basically made um, this into a Jinzo searcher. Uh, not bad. Be having free access to just search a Jinzo is always nice. So, um, that's really good. Jinzo, Jinzo's free searching now. Nice. Um, if another monster you control is attacked by an opponent's monster before damage calculation, you can destroy both the attacking monsters and this card. So you go neg two to kill, to neg your opponent one. I don't like that. And that that's just plain simple. I don't like that part of the effect. I'm going negative. I can see why it's there and it can help, but I don't like going negative. Um, 
Psycho Giga Cyber. Okay. Um, you can only, you can special summon a card with this card's name using the written it written in its first effect only once per turn. Uh, you can only use the second effect of this card's name once per turn. Okay. If your opponent controls more cards that are spell or traps than you do, you can special summon this card from your hand. Um, so if your opponent has at least one and you have none, I assume you can special summon this from your hand for free. Um, when this card declares an attack to, on an opponent's effect from while you control a Jinzo, then tribute this card and place place that opponent's monster face up in your opponent in your opponent's burn trap zone as a continuous trap. Wait, so when this card declares an attack on an opponent's effect monster while you control a Jinzo, you can tribute this card specifically, and then you can place that opponent's monster in the spend trap card as a trap. Um I get. I guess there's synergy with like this, but I don't. I just don't see the point. I don't see the point. Like, I, I guess they can't monster reborn it or anything, and it takes up a spell and trap card zone. Trap against the pendulum. I'm pretty sure you get to choose the zone, so you can put it in their pendulum zone. I just, I just don't see the point. Um. Okay. So, law of the universe. Esperoba's cheating tactics. Um, your opponent uh, can set one trap directly from their hand or deck. If they do, special summon one Jinzo monster from your deck. If they do not, add one Jinzo or one monster that specifically lists Jinzo in its text from your deck to your hand. Free summoning Jinzo. Nice. Contact with the universe. Continuous spell. Okay. Um... You can send one. You can send to the graveyard one monster you control that is owned by your opponent. Special summon by your opponent. Wait, you can send one to the graveyard one monster you control that is owned by your opponent. I need to reread this. Place that opponent's monster face up in your spell and trap zone. There we go. All right, there we go. And as a trap, uh, you can. Send one card to the grave. One you can send to the graveyard one monster you control that is owned by your opponent. Special summon one machine monster from your hand or graveyard. Okay. During your opponent's draw phase, when they conduct their normal draw while you control a Jinzo, you can declare a card type monster spell trap. Look at the look at the drawn cards, and if the declared card type is among them, send this card to the graveyard. And if you do, draw one card. You see, I don't like this, purely for the fact you have to send one monster you control that is owned by your opponent. So, I'm assuming this doesn't work because the mon it isn't a monster card anymore, it's a trap card, but it's no longer, uh, so it's not considered a monster that was been owned by your opponent. There is no way I can see here <clears throat> to, a fit to actually be able to get that free effect to be able to summon. Um... <clears throat> like, uh, unless I'm wrong here and saying you can use a trap, which I would say you can't purely because it's no longer a trap. Um, I just, it, it's no longer a monster, it's a trap. I, I don't like this part of the effect. Now this, this is interesting. Um, just giving you that one draw can be good, but I wouldn't say this is good. I would say um, I wouldn't run this. I would definitely run free of this. I would definitely run free of this. And I would definitely run... Uh, I'd say two of this, because there's no guarantee you're going to be able to gain this effect. Um, but I don't really cons think this is that good. And I don't think this is that good either. So, yeah. Um, that's all the Jinzo support, though, from this from this Duelist pack. I'm, I'm liking a lot of it. I'm liking the Jinzo support. I don't really like this too much, and I don't like this too much, but I definitely do like the, the free searches I summon, the thing that searches the spell or searches the Jinzo, and then this guy that literally just says, I'm a, you're, you're playing traps, you're gay. <laughs> so simple as that. Um, but yeah, that's uh, the Jinzo cards. Let's go into the Merit cards now, though, and see what they do. Ooh, nice new Winged Dragon of Wrath. Um, so, Reactor Slime, okay, level 4 or core effect, 500 attack, 500 defense, um, 
During your main phase, you can special summon two slime tokens, Aqua level 1, 500 attack. Also, you cannot normal or special summon monsters for the rest of this turn except Divine Beast monsters. So, what I'm hearing is, I special summon this, and then I tribute into Obelisk the Tormentor, or Wind Dragon of Ra. Cool. <laughs> cool. During either player's battle phase, quick effect, you can tribute this card, set one Metal Reflect slime from your hand, deck, or graveyard in your spell and trap card zone as it can be activated this turn. Uh, also, it can be activated this turn. Okay. Free Metal Reflect slime. I like it. And you can use it that turn. Nice. Nice. Um, Guardian slime. It's got a... I think that's Anubis. Yeah, I think that's Anubis um, on his head. Um, Anubis is the dog. Level 10 Aqua Effect monster. Zero attack, zero defense. If you take battle damage or effect damage, you can special this card from your hand. All right? If this card battles an opponent's monster during damage calculation, you can activate this effect during this turn, this damage calculation. Only. This card gains a defense equal to the opponent's monster. Mm. If this card is sent from the hand to the hand or field to the graveyard, you can add one spell or trap card that specifically lists Wind Dragon of Ra in its text from your deck to your hand. So you take damage to special summon this. You then protect it once to mediate damage, and then you let it die so you can add a card that specifically lists Wind Dragon of Ra. In his card text. Okay. I'll have to read some of these what raw cards. Um, Ancient Chant. Um, oh, Divine Beast, please hear my cry. Something like that. <laughs> it's been a while. Um, normal spell. Add one Wind Dragon of Ra from your deck to your hand. Deck or graveyard to your hand. And if you do, you can tribute summon one monster during your main phase this turn. In addition to your normal tributes are set. All right, so I see where this comes in. You you use this, so you can use this to additional summon Ra. Um, okay, I see why that where that's going then. Um, okay, um, you can banish this card from your you can banish the card from your graveyard for the rest of this turn. Any winged dragon of Ra's you tribute summon has its original attack and defense each become equal to the total original attack and defense of the monsters tributed for that summon. So. Basically, it's giving every raw form the same effect as this, as normal raw. So if you tribute something into raw sphere mode, um, then it gains the attack of all the monsters used to tribute it. Okay. Uh, Millennium Revolution, Revelation. So that's raw and... Is there any? It's just raw. Okay, just raw on the tablet with Monster Reborn. Um... Cool. Uh, you can send one Divine Beast monster from your hand to the graveyard and one monster reborn from your deck to your hand. Hmm. Nice. Nice. Now I understand why monster reborn's on there. Uh, you can send this card to the, this face up card from your Sperm Trap card zone to the graveyard. For the rest of this turn, you can special summon the Winged Dragon of Ra's from your graveyard with your Monster Reborn's effect, ignoring summoning conditions. But during this turn's end phase, you must send all send to the graveyard all Winged Dragon of Ra's that you have special summoned this by monster by the effect of Monster Reborn. So you're telling me I can summon Phoenix mode with Monster Reborn. Okay then. Okay, then. Uh, one with the Sun God. Okay, so this is basically saying when Merrick fused with the Sun with Ra. Uh, while you control a monster whose original name is Wind Dragon of Ra, you can activate this card during the turn it was set. Okay. Um, during either player's main phase, you can pay life points so that you only have 100 left. Choose one special summon Wind Dragon of Ra you control. And if you do, it gains attack and defense. Equal to the amount paid. Sick, I'm going to make Winged Dragon of Ra gain 7,900 attack. <clears throat> nice. 
Uh, once per turn, you can tribute one wing wing dragon of Ra. Uh, you control uh, gain life points equal to the attack of its on the field. You cannot activate the first and second effects with the first game in the same chain. So you can use both effects. So if you do, if you do use this to summon Wing Dragon of Ra, um, then activate this to boost Wing Dragon of Ra by an additional 7,900. Um, then you can tribute the same Wing Dragon of Ra before it's sent to the graveyard due to this card's effect, and just gain a ton of free, just gain all the life back plus some a bit of extra, and just decimate a load of your opponent's life points. So I like this, these cards. Um, slime, I'm 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 kind of indifferent on. This is the, the Guardian Slime. I'm kind of indifferent on. Um, I don't think it's that good. Uh, I can see why it's there. It's kind of a way to search your Wing Dragon of Ra spell trap cards. But I don't really think I like this. This is just a way to help summon Wing Dragon of Ra slash giving you that additional tribute, which is nice. Um, Ancient Chain searches Ra's Ra. Just searches raw, just searches raw, and also lets you summon raw. Wait, you can better just cut through and you can tribute some. Yeah, just lets you summon raw, which is nice. This just search monster reborn sounds pretty good. And this just this is just free life points. But guys, um, these are the cards. I'm in, I'm very interested to see what these do. Um, now I know the Jinzo stuff might be there on a competitive level when traps become on a thing but i can definitely see this stuff the wing dragon of Ra, but um being a sort of side thing i don't i feel like these will just be like fan service cards um because i'm gonna collect them all because i collect the egyptian gods just as a thing um and i like the i like having cards like this um but i can't see these cards being meta relevant i can see them being decent and having potential but in like the fun scene but like honestly i don't see these being any meta and having any meta value um there's they're interesting but they're not uh meta relevant but they are good they're, they all have that they're all good for wing dragon of raw and stuff and i like that as well in the stuff i can see this somewhat hitting meta play depending on what it's in like i can definitely see like the jinzo stuff being at least side deck worthy seeing as they just say oh i'm gonna get to summon free jinzo especially this one which is literally, I can see people citing free Jinzo and free of this, just so you can be like, oh, sure, you can have a trap, but I'm going to special summon a Jinzo, or sure, you don't have to do it, but I'm going to add a Jinzo. So it's just like, does it matter? Um, but guys, uh, that's the video. Tell me what you think of these cards in the comments below. Do you think they're good? Do you think they're bad? I personally think they're interesting, and I really want to see um, what people kind of come up with with the Jinzo stuff, and I want to see what come, people come up with the Wind Dragon of Ra stuff. Like, I'm, I'm going to take the Wind Dragon of Ra deck up, because I kind of want to test out a bit because it just seemed really interesting um the Jinzo stuff i might test as well i don't see any um way it's going to be good in the main scene until we get into a trap heavy format um but i think this stuff has more potential than the wind dragon of raw stuff um but guys that's the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe tell me what you think of these cards in the comments below and i will see you guys in the next one robot one signing out cool new cards cool new cards